Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 124 and 125. Problem number 124, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says that the length of a room exceeds its width by nine feet and by nine feet. The length, the length exceeds the width by nine feet. We are further told that if you were to if the width is to decrease, if you were if you were to decrease the width by three feet, and we are, if you were to increase the length by a third, the area of the room remains unaltered. Nothing happens to the area of the room, the area of the room remains unchanged if we were to decrease the width by three feet and increase its length by the third of the original amount. The question simply is, what are the dimensions? Let's, let's, let's do it together, shall we? We have two unknowns here, of course, the length and the width. Since we have two unknowns, the so length and the width, we need two equations, and the two equations are going to come from the two sentences that they give us. The first sentence, that's our first equation, the length exceeds the width by nine feet. So if L is to represent the length, and W is to represent the width. Is this true? Is this, is this a valid equation? The answer is no. The length does not equal width. The length happens to be whatever the width is, whatever the width is, length is nine more feet than the width. Whatever the length, whatever the, whatever the width is, if you were to add nine feet to it, that's our length. Why? Because we are told that the length exceeds the width by nine feet. If you don't, if, if if you don't like this way, if you don't want to write it this way, another way we could have seen, another way we could have looked at this relationship is that because of the fact that we are told the length exceeds the width by nine feet, if length exceeds the width width by nine feet, then if you were to take away the nine feet from the length, it will be equal to the width. But of course, these two equations are one and the same because you just subtract nine from both sides and you get the same thing. So that's our first equation, either this way or that way, the way you want to look at it. Second part tells us that if the width is to decrease by three feet, so here is our width. If you decrease it by three feet, and then what do you do with the length? Increase the length by a third. So here is our original length. Here is our original length. And how much do we increase it by? By the third. So you take your length and divide it by three. That's how much you increase the length. That's the increase of a third. And if you were to do that, the area remains unaltered. If the area remains unaltered, the area is same as before, the area that was there before was length times width. That's it. Here are the two equations, we just have to work on them. Let's do it together, shall we? So here we get L times W, which is LW. And then we get W times this part. You just have to pay attention, you have to go slowly. Do you understand? So here we're going to get L times W over 3. L times W over 3, you just have to pay attention. Then we're going to get, let's do it in a different color, so we can see now the second part. Then we're going to get negative 3, negative 3 times L, which is going to give us negative 3L. And then negative 3 times this part, negative 3, this negative 3 and this 3 is going to cancel out. You see the 3 on the top and the 3 at the bottom are going to cancel out. And we're going to end up with L with a negative sign in front of it, negative L equals LW. This is what I mean by paying attention to details, otherwise you're not going to get it right. Otherwise, you're not going to get it right. Let's continue. Because it only takes a small mistake to screw up the whole thing. Here we have length times width, and here we have length times width. This length times width here is, is, is 1 times, this is, this is 1 times this, which is, look at this as 3 over 3. So here we have 3 thirds, here we have 1 third, 3 third and 1 third. When we add the two quantities, we get 4 third. 4 third length times width minus 4L equals LW. Are you still with me? It's very important that you pay attention, okay? What do we do next? Let's subtract LW from both sides. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm making, I'm making, I'm making things complicated and when something like this happens, it's okay to go back and uh, retrace your steps and to fix it. If you were to continue here, nothing would change. It's not wrong. I was about to subtract L times W from both sides here, but I just realized we have L times W here and we have L times W here. Why make our life so miserable making it so complicated? Why not simply get rid of it here? Let's not make this complicated. Here we have L times W and here we have L times W. Let's sub subtract L times W from here. I didn't see that before. Subtract it from both sides, it's gone. 
So we end up, we end up with L times W over 3 equals negative 3L and negative L is negative 4L. If you bring it on that side, you'll end up with 4L. Are you with me? We see L on this side, we see L on this side. Let's divide both sides of the equation by L. If you divide both sides of the equation by L, L is going to drop out. And what we end up is W over 3 equals 4, which means if you were to multiply both sides by 3, W, the, the width, must be 12. If the width is 12, the length here it tells us that is, if the width is 12, length is, let's find out here, the length is going to be from here, right here, length is going to be 9 more. Let's, let's do it up here. The length is going to be, if W is equal to 12, the length is going to be 12 plus 9, or length is going to be 21. That's all. We are done. All we have to do at this point, all we have to do at this point is to verify our work. We can do a verification on the top. It's always a good idea. It's always a good idea to verify your work at the end. It only takes a few extra seconds, but it's a good idea. So let's verify it very quickly. So we are told that if you were to decrease the length, if you were to decrease, the problem says, if you were to decrease the width rather, not length, if you were to decrease the width by three feet and increase the length by the third, the dimensions of the, the, the area remains unaltered. The area remains unaltered. We're going to substitute this value of length and the width in here and see if it actually works. The width is double, width is 12, 12 minus 3 is going to be 9, plus the length is 21, a third over 21 is 7. So this is 21 plus 7, let's put it right down here, 21 plus 7 equals the length which is 21 times width which is 12, and instead of writing down as 21 plus 7, I'm just going to write that as 28. And this is not a plus sign, it should have been multiplication sign. You see, this is where, this is how, this is how people screw up. Let's verify, shall we? Uh, what, what can we do here? I see 28 here, I see 21 here. Why don't we sub divide both sides of the equation? Let's divide both sides of the equation by 7. If you divide 21 by 7, it becomes 3. And 28 divided by 7, it becomes 4. That's it. 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 4 is 36, and 3 times 12 is 36. It works. Do you want to do one more? Yes? Let's do one more. A similar problem. A very similar problem. Okay? One more on the, on the top. Number 125. It says, in a rectangle, in a rectangle, length exceeds the width by 4 meter. We are further told that if both sides, if both sides of the rectangle are increased by 6 meter, the area goes up by 96 square meter. The area goes up by 96 square meter. Well, we don't have to create too much suspense to know what the punchline is going to be. The punchline simply is, what are the dimensions? What are the original dimensions? What are the original dimensions? Why don't you do it yourself? Now that you now that we did the previous question, this question is very similar. <coughs> It'll be a good idea for you to pause the video, do the problem yourself, and once you have done so, compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Okay? I'll give you five seconds so that you can have an unobstructed view of the problem. It says, in a rectangle, in a rectangle, the length exceeds the width by 4 meters. If both sides of the rectangle were to be increased by 6 meters, we are told that as a result, the area goes up by 96 square meter. What are the dimensions? Let's do it together, shall we? Again, we need two equations because we have two unknowns, the length and the width, and the two equations are going to come from the two sentences. The first sentence is very easy. 
the length exceeds the width by 4 meters. So here's our length, here's our width. Can we put an equal sign here? Of course not, the length does not equal width. Whatever the, whatever the width is, the length is four more four meter more than that. Whatever the whatever the whatever the width is, the length is four more meters than that. So we have to add four to this quantity in order to justify the equal sign. The length equals whatever the width is plus the four meter because the length exceeds the width by four meters. If both sides were to increase by six meters, so here is our length. If we were to increase that by six meters, here is here is our original width. If you increase that by six meters. It turns out, as a result, the area goes up by 96 square meters. So the original area was length times width. The new is going to be 96 more than that. That's all. We have two equations, two unknowns, and we're going to work on it. Let's do it together, shall we? Open the parenthesis. Length times width. Six times length. Six. Six times length. Let's do the bottom one in a different color. Six times width and six times six is thirty-six. And that equals this quantity equals equals length times width plus ninety-six. Again, again before before we get get into complications, we see a length times width on this side and we see a length times width on this side. Let's subtract length times width from both sides of the equation and it goes away. And what do we end up with? We end up with 6 times length plus 6 times width. 6 times length plus 6 times width equals 96 minus 36. Bring the 36 to the other side. 96 minus 36 is 60. If 6 times length plus 6 times width equals 60, if we divide the entire equation by 10, what we end up here is length plus width equals Rather, if you divide the entire equation by 6, not 10, if you divide the entire equation by 6, 6L plus 6W equals 60, therefore L plus W must equal 10. That's our equation that we get out of here. The other equation that we have is here. Let's write this equation. Let's bring the W to this side. Let's subtract W from both sides. If we bring W to this side, what we're going to end up here is length minus width equals 4. So that's our that's our one equation, length minus w equals 4. Here is our second equation, length plus w equals 10. Add the two equations, w's are going to drop out, l plus l is 2 l's, is going to equal 14, and therefore length equals 7. If length equals 7, the w must be 3. w must be 3. This implies, we need an imply sign, this implies w must be 3. As always, what we have to do is make sure our work is correct, make sure it makes sense with the problem. So if you were to increase the length and the width, the area has to go up by 96 square meter. Let's find it out on top. So here is here is the original length and width. Here is the original length is 7, the width is 3, and here are the new. Let's call them L prime. When we see something like this, this is symbol here, it means that this is the same variable, uh, same, this, is the, this is the new value of the, of, the, of, of the same concept. It's the length, but it's a new length. And it is read as, you will read, this is read as L prime. This is how we read it, L prime. L prime means new length. L prime is how we read it, new length. Even though it says on the top here, L prime, which is the new length, which is going to be the old length, 7, plus increase it by 6, we get 13. W prime, which is the new new width, which is the old, 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 old width, which is 3, increase it by 6, we get 9. Multiply the two quantities, 13 times 9, 13 times 10 is 130. We don't have 10, 13, we have 9, 13, so it's 130 minus 13. 130 minus 13, 130 minus 10 would have been 120, so it's going to be 117. What was our original dimensions? These are the original dimensions, therefore the original area would have been 21. Original area would have been 21. Did it go up by whatever the problem told us that it's supposed to go up by 96 square meter? Well, let's find out, shall we? 7 minus 1 is 6. 
and 11 minus 2 is 9. What do you see? The area did, in fact, go up by exactly 96 square meter as a result of increasing the length and the width by 6 meters. I know.